Hey guys, Andrew Cayley from Covers here, and as we head into the MLB All-Star break, what better time to take a look at the teams that have padded our bankrolls the most this season, as well as those who have emptied our pockets. First, let's take a look at the five most profitable teams in the MLB. It should be no surprise the Astros are the big's most profitable team. They are, of course, the MLB's best team at 58 and 27. What may be a little more surprising has been the Astros' dominance on the road. All but four bucks of the Astros' MLB leading $2,109 of profit have come away from home, where they are also an MLB best 31 and 9. It's the opposite case for the MLB's second most profitable team, the Diamondbacks, thanks to their 32 and 13 record at Chase Field. The Rockies, Dodgers, and Brewers round out the top five. Now, let's check out the five most costly teams in baseball. When it comes to the teams that have cost betters the most, it's not shocking the Giants and Phillies lead the way considering their respective seasons to this point. What is shocking, however, is the third and fourth most costly teams this season are the two that battled in last year's Fall Classic, the Cubs and Indians. Chicago has cost betters $1,723, while Cleveland has made their backers unhappy, leaving them $1,833 in the hole. The Indians have been particularly costly at home this season, leading the MLB with a whopping negative $2,346. Finally, maybe the most interesting money trend belongs to the Twins, who rank 8th at $559. They have cost betters $1,060 at home this season, but have turned a profit of $1,619 on the road. The only teams who have cost betters more at home this season are the Blue Jays, Mets, and the aforementioned Indians, and they rank 25th, 26th, and 28th in total money, respectively. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, at Covers.